We are going to do some Copic coloring today with the Happiness is Homemade stamp set from Not Too Shabby that's in your box this month for June. So we're going to color up some of these images and I'm going to share some tips and tricks. So stick around. I'm going to pull out my markers and let's get started. I really do love images like this when the artist draws in where basically where you're going to want your shadows to be. So all these little dots here are the place where you're going to add your darkest color. So let's stamp out some of the images. I definitely want to color in this pig. So if you are just starting out with card making, the Misty is definitely a must-have. Um, you can stamp your images out multiple times. So if you're stamping once and you get an, a not-so-great impression, you can stamp it again and again until it's perfect. I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This is great for Copics. This is my number one go-to ink. So once you get a brand new stamp set, you're going to want to condition it a little bit. There's manufacturer oils on the stamp. Um, so sometimes I just take my damp chamois and I just give it a little wipe down um, to get that residue off. That way the ink will adhere to the stamp much better. You won't get that pulling up look. You can also just take your finger and rub it. Um, you're going to want to make sure this is dry though if you use a stamp chamois. So I like to take a piece of paper and just kiss my stamps, make sure that there's no dampness on there. And then we're good to go. And also the Misty allows you to stamp multiple images at one time, which is really nice. This little tool here is just a tool that helps you um, kind of like glide around your Misty. You can also use the sleeve of your sweater. It works really good. You're just pressing down. So that looks pretty good, but I'm going to do another stamping because I like my images to be really dark. Okay, that's perfect. I have a little bit of room to add the other images from the set, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. For my paper, I'm using Express It Blending Paper. I'm leaving out the two paper pads that come in your box for June as some color inspiration. I like to take color inspiration from paper pads. Usually all the colors go together, so it makes it easy for me. Let's start with the pig. So I am going to do a uh, three color combination. I'm choosing E04, E02, and E00. So this is not like a pink color. Um, this one is called fruit pink, so it does have a hint of pink there. Um, but pigs aren't really pink pink, are they? So I'm going to use this combination. Let's see how it turns out. We're going to be careful with the E04. Um, it's a super dark color and it doesn't blend that well with the E02. So we're going to want to use this one sparingly. We're going to put it where we want our darkest shadows to be. So I'm going to um, take the artist um, reference and use that. So we're going to want it underneath his arms or his armpits under his belly. Oops, you guys got a sneak peek there. I didn't even know that was in there. That is for next month. So you got an early sneak peek. Okay, so let's flip up with our strokes. I'm making little light strokes. I'm not being heavy handed and um, saturating the paper. Um, back here, his back hoof is gonna be dark. So I'm coloring that whole thing in. The back area here is going to be darker, so I'm just following the little dots, leaving a little white space there. At the bottom of his hooves, I'm going to add the dark. And let's see back here. And 
And then I'm gonna just round this upward following these dots. And then um, on our second pass, we're gonna dot into the image following those dots. So we're gonna do it behind his ears in this little area where it kind of like sinks down um, under his mouth and chin here. And right above the bridge of his nose, under those ears. Okay, so now we're gonna take our EO2 and we're going to wanna go right over that part that we colored and then just flick together like you're just blending the two colors together. And I'm gonna leave some white space because we're gonna use the lighter color. So his back hoof is darker, so I'm just gonna color the whole thing in. We're gonna go up here and round this part out. We'll go on his back here, because this is gonna be um, a little bit darker than the side here. And I forgot to do his tips of his ears, so we'll go back with the EO4. So I'm gonna try to, um, I'm gonna try to hold my marker so you, I can get a good angle on the camera. Um, I tend to want to squeeze up on, them, on my markers, but um, we need to relax when we color, right? So let's shake it out. Hold the marker in the middle instead of way at the top <laughs> and kind of relax when we color. It's supposed to be enjoyable and it's supposed to be stress-free. We're having fun, so... All right, so I'm gonna do the tips with the EO4 before I forget do, to do that. So just gonna um, do behind the, the front ear and the tips of the front ear and the bottom. Okay, oops, I was blending it with the E00. All right, I meant to do with the E02. See, we all make mistakes, but you know what? You just keep going. Okay, so now we're gonna do the E00. So now here is where I'm just going to fill the rest of the image in, making sure that these two colors are blending so you might have to like swipe a few times to get them blending and the colors to get moving because um, they might start to dry out a little bit when you're coloring a bigger space like this. So I'm gonna work around where the edges are, first blending the two colors together before I move into the center. And um, my markers get pretty dry quickly because I do color a lot and I don't refill my markers like I should. And I could tell that my markers are dry because they squeak. I think that's a sign of them being dry. <laughs> um, so you're gonna wanna fill up your markers for the best results, I think. So I am going to do that next time. Okay, so there's our cute little pig. So see how this kind of color is more of a realistic looking pig, I think. 
Um, if you wanted it to be a little bit more pink, you could go in with maybe an R20 or something. Like we can add some blush down here for some more pinkness, just swiping up. And then maybe on the snout right here. And um, maybe on the ears. So we could add just. So I told you I was going to go back with the EO4 and do a little bit of dotting where these dots are. Um, and that'll just darken up your shadows a little bit. I'm just doing little dots. And this is just darkening up the little shadow areas. Okay, so there's the cute little pig. Let me zoom in. Okay, so I am going to color in the rest, play some music, and I'll meet you on the other side.
right, so I'm finished with the coloring. This is how it turned out. Really cute, it matches the uh, Farm Sweet Farm pretty good. So I could use that on a card using this paper collection. So I will, so I hope you guys enjoyed the coloring. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll be happy to answer them for you.